hello there welcome to my channel have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror in a photo in your inner eye and paused a minute just to wonder out loud who am i i have and i remember this is the first question i asked myself when i discovered spirituality two years ago i struggled with this question for months looking at myself observing myself and answering this question based on what I thought I was all my life. Turned out, what I thought was me wasn't actually me. You see, in most societies, an individual is raised up as someone's child. And then comes the male or female, where gender is two distinct forms. You're either masculine or feminine, girl or boy, man or woman. You are then someone's sister or brother, daughter or son, niece or nephew, uncle or aunt, mother or father, grandmother or grandfather. You are then either from a poor, middle class, rich or wealthy background. You are from the village, from the islands, from the mountains, from the city or from a small town. You are illiterate or well learned. As an individual, you are either struggling in poverty, hard working, chasing success, or you are successful in your field of work. Work itself gives you more labels. You could be a doctor, a mechanic, a mamamboga, a hawker, a teacher, a waitress, a dancer, and so many other thousands of works out there. In your line of work, you could be an employee, a boss, a CEO, a manager, and so forth. You are so labeled according. To, you are also labeled according to the color of your skin or your country. You are African, Asian, American, Kenyan, white, black, brown, and which could be divided into smaller units like tribes. Therefore, you are Kikuyu, Hadigo, Ameru a Somali, etc. Basically, what I'm saying, you grow up identifying with so many labels which you carry around throughout life, thinking that's what you are. And you struggle to live up to the expectations of each label. All these external labels that come up based on your relationships with people, where you live and what you do are not who you are. You are more than that. You are more than these words we have formed to facilitate our communications and interactions with our fellow humans. But you may end up lost in these identities that you ignore yourself your whole life. If you're not careful, if you do not make time for yourself to know who you are, ask yourself, who am I? It might come startling to realize you do not know who you are, but that's okay. Knowing you don't know is knowing something. That's the beginning of your journey towards understanding yourself, the life you live, and the life around you. I do believe this is the most important journey a person can ever take. This is the path towards enlightenment. I dare you to ask yourself this question. <sighs> Who am I? Who am I? Who am I?